Beneath Earth's seemingly stable surface lies a restless engine, plate tectonics, that drives earthquakes, builds mountains, and recycles crust in a planetary dance of destruction and renewal. At the heart of this system are subduction and continental collision, two interconnected processes that shape our planet's landscape and trigger its most dramatic geological events. Subduction is the primary force behind plate tectonics, accounting for approximately 90% of the energy that drives lithospheric motion. This process occurs when dense oceanic lithosphere descends into the mantle at convergent boundaries. As oceanic plates age and cool over millions of years, they become denser than the underlying asthenosphere, a phenomenon called negative buoyancy. This gravitational instability allows them to sink at rates up to 10 cm per year, generating the slab pool that propels entire tectonic plates across Earth's surface. The surface signatures of subduction are unmistakable. Volcanic arcs like the Andes and Japanese islands, where water-rich oceanic crust triggers explosive volcanism. Deep trenches such as the 11-kilometer-deep Mariana Trench and accretionary prisms that build continental margins over time. These features dominate the Pacific Ring of Fire, where active subduction zones continue reshaping ocean basins. But subduction sets the stage for an even more dramatic transformation. Over hundreds of millions of years, the intervening oceanic plate is entirely consumed. When buoyant continental crust finally reaches the subduction zone, everything changes. Unlike dense oceanic crust, continental crust resists descent into the mantle. Unable to sink, it forces a tectonic shift, subduction halts, and continental collision begins. The collision of India with Eurasia following the complete subduction of the Tethys Ocean exemplifies this transition. These collisions generate immense compressional forces that create fault thrust belts, high-grade metamorphic rocks, and crust-thickening reaching extreme elevations. The Himalayas rising 5 mm annually stand as monuments to this process, their peaks crowned with marine fossils that once lay on ancient sea floors. Continental collisions don't necessarily end regional tectonics, they transform them. Subduction zones may retreat, as in the Mediterranean, or jump to new locations, as occurred after the Alps formed. This adaptability ensures that Earth's crustal recycling continues even as specific boundaries evolve. The contrast between these processes reflects their fundamental differences. Subduction involves oceanic plates diving into the mantle's depths, triggering volcanism and forming oceanic trenches. Collision involves continental masses that resist sinking, producing towering mountain belts through intense deformation. The Mariana Trench plunging into the abyss and the Himalayas soaring skyward represent these contrasting destinies. Together, subduction and collision form a continuum at convergent margins. 
subduction initiates the sequence over hundreds of millions of years and collision concludes it over tens of millions more. While modern subduction zones dominate current tectonics, ancient collision belts like the Appalachians preserve evidence of tectonic dramas from Earth's deep past. Understanding this dynamic relationship reveals how our planet evolves, shaping landscapes, triggering hazards, and powering the unending cycle of crustal creation and destruction that has repeatedly reshaped continents and ocean basins throughout Earth's 4.6 billion year history, making our world uniquely geologically alive. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.